Students, uh, we are going to start the discussion of the data link layer. Students, when we were talking about the physical layer, we went through um, a few concepts. The first one was around the digital transmission of data. The second one was about the analog transmission of data. We looked at different conversion techniques. What if we have um, analog data or digital data and we need to send it in a digital signal format? What if we have analog or digital data and we need to do the analog transmission? Students, we looked at quite a few bandwidth uh, utilization issues. We studied multiplexing and we, we spoke about spread spectrum as well. Students, in the last, we spoke about the different transmission medium. Students, in all of that discussion about the physical layer, you saw that we were talking about the actual physical communication of data between one host and the other. The communication from point A to point B or the source to the destination was in the form of actual physical data. The connections were physical connections. Students, in the case of data link layer, all our connections are logical. हम लोगों ने जब कनेक्टिविटी की बात की थी इन द केस ऑफ टीसीपी आई पी प्रोटोकॉल स्वीट और मैंने आपको एग्जाम्पल देके समझाया था कि किस तरह से पॉइंट ए और पॉइंट बी में यूजिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर स्टैक ऑफ लेयर्स वी एस्टेब्लिश द कम्युनिकेशन हमने देखा था कि कुछ लेयर्स जो हैं दे वर टॉकिंग टू ईच अदर यूजिंग दीज लॉजिकल कनेक्टिविटी एवरी लेयर ऑन द सोर्स इज लॉजिकली कनेक्टेड टू एवरी लेयर ऑन द डेस्टिनेशन स्टूडेंट्स इन द केस ऑफ अ नेटवर्क which consists of multiple different hosts. Some of them act as source when they are sending data and the others act as destinations when they are receiving data. In this kind of a network, multiple hosts and multiple connecting devices, they are glued together, they are present together and that forms a network. Students, in the case of this network, if a packet has to travel from one host to the other, it has to span all these different networks. Some of them can be local area networks. The others will be wide area networks. Students, the scope of data link layer is to control the node-to-node -node communication. The IP layer communication or the network layer, layer 3 communication, is what happens when you have a source IP address and a destination IP address. But there are multiple links and multiple nodes in between the source and the destination as well that require the data link layer to control this communication using the addressing that we are going to be talking about at this layer, the data link layer. Students, before we move on, you need to understand the data link layer, it actually exists between layer 1 and layer 3. It exists between the physical layer and the network layer. Let's go back to our concept of the TCP IP layer. And you will remember that the data link layer, it provides services to the network layer and it takes services from the physical layer. Bottom layer, it provides services to the upper layer. So physical layer is providing services to the um, data link layer and then data link layer in turn provides these services to the upper layer, which in this case of TCP IP protocol suite is your layer three. Students, so slide pitch alenge and we'll talk about the communication at the data link layer. Students, we have um, discussed this example before, but um, that was in the context of me introducing the physical layer to you. The communication that we spoke about back then, that was happening at the physical layer. Students, in this particular case, you'll see that we're talking about the logical communication that's happening between the data link layer. Once again, in this particular case, we ha we've got the sender, and the sender is Alice, or Alice's machine here, which is connected directly to the router R2. So students, the data link layer at Alice's computer, it will communicate with the data link layer at the router R2. You will see this connection using this red line that's shown here. The data link layer at Alice's computer is talking to the data link layer at the router R2. Students, I have told you that hosts, hai, they have got all the layers, all the five layers of TCP IP protocol suite from physical all the way up to application. However, our routing, which is our layer three device, we call it as a routing device or our layer three device, it will have only three layers, physical, data link, and network. Router two, in turn, communicates with router R4. R2 communicates with R4. Data link layer connection is shown here. Then your R4 is part of a switched wide area network, so it talks to 
router R5. R5 then talks to router R7. And finally, router R7, it talks to the data link layer of Bob's computer, which is via the default gateway that you can see here. It's connected to router R7, and that connection is shown here. Students, there are quite a few switches, as you can see. There are quite a few switches um, that, that exist between this communication path, but for the sake of simplicity, because the state of the data is not changed at the switches, we have not included that in this particular um, example that we are going through.